Amen. In the name of Jesus, shall we pray for a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. As we are coming to share your word, it's my humble prayer that we be the doers in Jesus' name. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. We are continuing with the blood covenant. As we are aware, the Bible made us to understand that anytime we accept Jesus our Lord, as our Lord and personal Savior, we are now in relationship with Jesus. And when you accept Jesus, that means you have accepted that you obey what the word says and do according to what the word says. So the blood of Jesus as a covenant is to seek to make us closer to God. Closer to that what Jesus said, when you are praying, just say our Father. Therefore, when you accept Jesus, you become a son. When you become a son, you address God as Father. So accepting Jesus, you accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Me, you have accepted the word to go according to the word and do what the word says. When you do what the word says, that is the only time you can address God as Father. So Father and Son become family business. So you must accept. Because we don't worship God because we want something. But we worship God because it is our responsibility. It is your duty that you ought or you must worship the Lord. You and I have covenant with God. We have covenant by accepting Jesus. When you accept Jesus, therefore it has taken you from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. So now you're in the kingdom of God. So the only time that you could be closer to God is when you confess your sins. Then Jesus will use his blood to cleanse our sins. Cleansing our sins makes us closer to God. So now we have relationship with God by the blood of Jesus. Amen. So it is mandatory. And Jesus made us to understand in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19. He said, I've given us authority and power. How can you get authority and power unless you become a son? And a son, you are given an authority. And with a son, it's like a police officer, a, a soldier, who is man under authority. When he takes a phone call, just one single call, he has the troops, the necessary troops requirement to come and attack a situation at a particular moment. It's not being powerful, it's having the authority to call. And that authority alone can bring things in existence. Jesus said, there's no man like having faith like this man. Because the man understood what is called authority. Children have authority. You and I, we have authority. What gives us authority is about the word. When we accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you now have the authority. You are now a son. A son. A son. So today, wherever you are, make a decision to be a son by obeying what the word says. When you accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you have taken the word. You have taken the word. Now you become a son of the Most High. The one who created the heavens and the earth. The one who created everything. Then you are his son. So imagine being the son of the one who created the whole world. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful and a blessing to be the son of the Almighty God. Just accept Take the word. Take the word. And do what the word says. When you take the word, the word is Jesus. John chapter 1 verse 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt among you and I. So I want you, I don't want to close this broadcast. I want to give you the opportunity, the chance to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. To have a relationship with our Father by accepting Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the way, the way, the truth and the life. I am the way. Jesus is the way. The word is only the way for you and I. Amen. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. I want you to take this opportunity to take Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Just repeat it after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you have sent Jesus to die for my sins. And I've taken Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. I will do what it says in Jesus' name. Thank you for saying this. You are now a son. You are a son. You can address him as father. 
Get yourself a Bible-believing church where they can give you the true word and follow what the word says and you'll be blessed. In Jesus' name, pray thanksgiving. Amen. Thanksgiving.